Unfortunately, this is the last little log I need to peel the bark on. I did break down, bought some eight foot two by fours to help get this going. Uh, it's been at least a week, maybe two weeks since I started peeling the barks. Full time job and all that, but I got a little extra time this week. <clears throat> it's the last one and I can get to building it. Finally, finally. Let me show you what I got. So I'm gonna have seven of these at 10 foot. Three of these at eight foot and three of these at five foot five because that was the shortest one of the bunch. So I just did it all that. That'll give me my lean. So the next step is I am going to all these 10 footers. They're going to, the structure is going to be 10 feet. The wood structure part of it anyway is going to be 10 feet deep. The, uh, the roof will be 11 feet. So I must use these to span that distance. And put everything together and I should have enough of these to make the uh, corner braces if not I'll use the two by fours the two by four is going to be my purlins going in between them so I can attach the metal roof into that and then I'll get everything moved over here including myself um, but it's going to be just going to go down there and then I'll move the camper down here for the winter and I'll be in the full sun for the winter time. Right now, I'm where I'm at, I'm under the shade of trees, which for the Oklahoma heat is a really good place to be. So I'll use up more of this metal and I'll stop processing some of this wood just for the heck of it. Maybe make some counters or something out of it. It's coming together. It could be a while before I actually build the cabin like next year. But last couple of days, I'm just spending a little bit of time. I marked out a road that I want to build that goes down my property from the edge over there. It goes diagonally all the way down to the bottom. And I mean, cleared some of the trees down for that. And I started clearing some of the low part of the property. And there goes my chicken. My one rooster. notching these logs to receive the stringers this is yes yeah, something I've never done before
that's pretty close. That's all I can really hope for is pretty close. There's nothing square or level. I mean, it's not like I use two by fours or four by fours. Everything's a different diameter as you go up and down. So I'm try to get it close and see what I can kind of make it look okay. I do need it to be directly south. It's going to be a little bit more this way. Okay, next one. So this is where I got to on this today. It actually looks better than I thought it was going to be. It was easier to level up, at least close enough for what I'm doing here. It's off an inch here, an inch there, but using a bunch of down trees for the lumber, I guess you can kind of expect that. I need some more 2 by 4s I need to do two more purlins across the middle to support the metal roof and the solar panels. So yeah, it's a little janky, but it's for what I'm doing with it, it's fine. It's, it's just to collect rainwater. Uh, winter's here as far as the snow load goes. i uh, not worried about it. It snowed here six inches one time last year, and everybody was out of their minds around here that that was incredible that we got that much snow. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I am going to cover... All the two by fours in the ends, I'm going to close the three sides. I'm going to use fence planking for that. It's a pretty cheap way to do it. It's cheaper than getting plywood. So, and I'll get my uh, gutter up and my IBC tanks over here, and I'll start being able to collect a whole lot more rainwater. But I'm going to finish this up in another video so this doesn't get too long. And have a good day.